Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatics MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to perform user migration from one environment to other. The very first thing we should know what is migration tool. So the user migration tool is a support tool in the Informatica MDM that can be used to migrate users across different environment for example if you want to move the users which you created in the development environment to the QA environment or UAT environment you need to use this tool or if you have created users in UAT or QA environment and you would like to move to the production environment then you need to use this tool instead of creating all the users manually the reason is creating users manually is very tedious job and if it becomes a daily activity then it's again a, a good amount of manual efforts is required to create users manually. So to overcome it Informatica provide this migration tool we also call it as a user migration tool. It is also used to perform bulk insert and bulk update for existing users for example if you change the convention of the configuring the username first name last name and you want to change all the sequence across the all the users in MDM hub doing that again it's a more tedious job the reason is like suppose if you're if you're using third-party authentication underlying suppose LDAP you are, if you're using or the Active Directory I mean if you're using Active Directory internally then if, if something change happen in that third-party tool the same thing we have to replicate in the MDM hub also like the changing the username to follow the convention of the internal or the third-party authentication tool so making such change it's a, a big activity and how can we Ma doing manual it's a, a good amount of effort so in order to overcome that we can use migration tools and within few minutes we can achieve this migration use of tool the usage of tool is very first to bulk migrate users from one environment to other that is a very a very basic use of this tool the other supporting usage are to create the bulk users for situations like performance testing yeah so not only we per not only we perform the performance testing on the business requirement but also we also perform the performance testing on the users creation to bulk manage the roles for the existing users so this tool not only manages the users but also manages the roles also so we know that we have the SAM section security access manager in the MDM hub where we define the various rules and the users which falls in each respective role. So with this tool we'll be able to actually create not only the users but also the roles in various environment. How to use? It's very simple to use. We have to go to the MDM hub then in the help section you will find the MDM support tools and we have to launch this application from there. The rest of the um, steps I will show in the demo. Particularly while importing the user because uh, this when we use this user migration tool there are two major activities involved. First is exporting user. For example you are migrating the users from the development to the QA environment then first you have to export users from the development environment and in QA environment you have to import users so expo during export there are not major steps but for the importing the we have to take some precautionary or the important steps and those steps are mentioned in the slide so while importing the users very first thing it will ask for the password policy if you are using MDM internal password policy you can use that if you want to use third party you can have the option to choose that through this we can provide the password for the new users like default password default password comes with bang bang cmx bang bang you can use that there is a radio button it will show you whether you want to see, show this pass you want to assign this password 
as a default password to newly created users in the new environment or you can provide the last name of that user as a password so those are the two options available the next property is default data for new user for example in your target database or so the target environment you have the multiple ORS like the CMX system CMX ORS or any other ORS you have the option to choose a particular ORS where you want to assign this use users default data was for existing user while updating the existing users detail during the import through this there is a checkbox through this checkbox we can modify the default ORS for the existing users if not checked the default ORS will not be modified it will remain as it is there are some basic validations we need to perform the first we have to check at least one user to export because we cannot export a blank spreadsheet in the target environment otherwise you will get the errors so make sure you have at least one user to migrate when no users is selected we click and on export to users the format cvs file will not be valid when cvs the comma separated file used for importing user doesn't meet the internal standard to avoid it use the um sample or csv file which is comes as a download sample users button so there is two buttons which is we have the export users or if you want to see the sample format for the users and you manually enter that user in that spreadsheet format that is also available please select a password policy here is a radio button the that we have to check under policy for the new internal users or it is external authenticated user then we have the default password we have to select the appropriate default password also so these are the mandatory things we have to perform so these are the basic things about the user migration tool so let's go ahead and see how to migrate the tool in the mdm hub in order to perform that we have created few users in the mdm hub inside the configuration user section so in order to add the users here you can click this plus icon and it will uh, it will pop us a new browser for example i will show you i'm just adding one more user and i'm providing some password and it will add the user so similarly we have created add users assume this is a development environment and you want to migrate all these users to the qa environment so what i'll do i will go to the help section go to the mdm support tools and it will uh, give me one authentication phase if you are using web logic as an application server you will see the four fields add mdm username mdm password web logic username and web logic password so you have to provide mdm admin username and web logic admin user name and password click on the login and it will take us to this MDM support tools page. In previous session, we have seen the configuration support manager. And now in today's session, we are going to see user migration. So when you click on the user migration tab, you will see this a very first page which, where you have to choose the ORS. If my current environment, suppose as this is a development environment, it can, if, if it contains multiple ORS, then you will be able to see that. I'll just select one water available and click on the retry button so it will retry all the users which are present in the your system right now if you see there are various users available temp1 temp2 etc out of that the bob paul user is assigned with the role qa now let me show you in the mdm hub also if you go to the uc role section and under the QA rows some definitions are to it's loading and in the users and group section I will show you the QA group I have the Bob Paul under DJ we are just admin so this is default configuration we have and that is what it is shown here so admin user if you see it's not shown because it's a default user in the mdm hub but the rest of the custom users will be shown here 
now the next thing what we have to do either we can export user or if you want to see the da sample cvs file you can download it and here is the sample file it is downloading umt sample.csv so this file you can provide to the business or the your uh, the corresponding data steward who has the more control what they will do they will update this file and provide back to upload so this is one way we can use this sample file if you do not have any users in the system you will be you have to get this file from the business all the details like first name last name title etc and some other details so you can provide the sample file to the data store or the business people and they will update this file and will send back so this is one option the other option is you can select all the users which you want to migrate to the target environment this is my development environment and i want to migrate all these users as in that is the condition then select those all the users and click on the export button whenever you click on the export users button it will give us one pop-up saying that press yes to export user role assignment information as well press no to only export user information else press cancel to quit so that means if you want to propagate the user role assignment as well we have to click the yes normally in real time we we have the same role structure across the all the environment so it's a good idea to select as yes, so that will get the uh, roles information also now i will download this file it's a just a click click and uh, it will be available i will show you how that file looks like so this is the file you will be able to see it has a username whatever you have configured then you have the login message you can update this login message also like you can introduce link and all that title first name then your middle name last name initial suffix job title telephone tel um, you can see the telephone area code telephone number area code fax number mobile area code mobile number email and some other details like admin indicator whether this user is admin or not then is this external authentication or not and means it is not external authentication it is internal authentication then user enable indicator this means this user is active or not and the roles so if you see the bob paul user has the role qa so it is my it is coming from the source or the development environment so we have this file we are going to use this file to import now let's go back and let's create our QA environment right now in my system I do not have the QA environment so what I'll do I will delete the few of the roles and we'll see how it works so assume that I'm deleting couple of roles I'm deleting six five also I'm deleting four three and two so as in the case where in the queue environment you already created couple of users and you want to import the remaining users from the development environment so in order to so the, as of now we are in the target environment or we are in the queue environment so what we'll do we'll go to the tool so just to refresh just change the tabs and it will refresh now this is my target environment as in select the ors so but whenever you use the target environment means you have to go to the help and again go to the mdm support tools and that will divert us as i'm using the same environment i don't have to change that so i just select the ors click on the retry and it will sh show us what are the currently available user in my target environment so I have the two users temp user and temp uh, and Bob Paul so which we can see here also so these are make currently available now what we are going to do we are going to import the user from the development environment and that is nothing but the CSV file in order to import you have to click on the import users button and it will give us a pop-up to choose the file 
so choose the file first what are the file we downloaded here and click on the upload button and it will upload quickly so whenever we click upload it gives us pop-up and as we discuss in the our presentation there are a couple of things we need to take care during the import so the very first thing is we have to define a default password whether it is the default password bang bang cmx or you can create your own password here you can provide that or you can choose a last last name as a password i will select what are the available here then you have to choose what is the target ors for these users you can use if there are multiple ors available in qa or target environment you have to choose the the corresponding ors i'll choose the cmx ors the default urs for the existing if you want to change the default ors for the existing user you have the option here to change that also select these basic options and click on the import so import process is complete message will come and click ok so at the bottom of the screen you will see what are the users got imported so it will not import the users which are already available it will import which are oh, oh sorry it will input all the users doesn't matter they are present or not so you can see that all the users are we can see so so this user got updated if there is any change the rest of the users are inserted because these are new you can see the bob also updated because that user is already present so if you see one if you notice the id of this user bob paul and here if you see it is the same it is not changed and that is the reason it is saying it's a it's a updated but there is a uh, so the, so by this way actually you will be able to import can you see in the mdm hub yes of course you can see just go to the mdm hub click and refresh it all the users will be shown here So by this way, actually, we'll be able to create the users. Now, if you want to assign a particular role, then you have to go to that CSV file, which is updated or in the exported, update there the roles, and then import those roles will be assigned here automatically. So you can see, we if you remember, we created one, we had one user with the QA role, and that is what we have, and that is appropriately configured so right now we are not importing any other with uh, any other roles with any other uh, any other user with any other role so that is the reason we are not saying any additional users but in your case if you want to choose any particular role for the particular user that can be possible by updating that csv file i hope this short tutorial will help you to understand how to migrate the users from one environment to another Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time. Do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update for MDM and the supporting technologies.